It's Innovation Day at Ben Gurion University in Beersheba. There are more than 500 final projects being presented here by students from engineering and computer science. This project aims to find a safer way to detect breast cancer. We did a project uh, about uh, detection of breast cancer using light. Uh, actually, it's uh, the, uh, at the range of the visible light and the infrared, which is a non-harmful uh, radiation, so that's the benefit of it. Um, we tried uh, to show that it is possible uh, using our suggested model uh, to use this uh, method to detect a tumor inside the breast. Another project aims to make it easier for drivers to see bicyclists. The problem is that the background makes it very difficult to discern the driver, the rider, from the background. And the background always changes. So the idea behind this project was to utilize a phenomenon that's called phi phenomenon or an apparent movement. If you have a sequence of lights that turn on and off in a particular timely fashion, then you see movement that doesn't really happen. There are also projects that have already attracted some interest from investors. The system identifies when someone comes into the room and starts the air conditioning. It follows the person as he moves around the room. As soon as he leaves, the system turns itself off. If you get cold because the air conditioner is directly on you, you can raise your hand and the system will move the air a little to the right. The system also remembers your preferences and will adjust them automatically. However, the road from a good idea to a startup to a commercially viable company is a long one. We looked at a couple of the uh, uh, projects. Some of them are very interesting. It's always an interesting challenge to take uh, an academic project and turn it uh, into uh, a profitable, uh, thriving uh, business opportunity. Microsoft Partners says it's come here looking for new startups for its Accelerator program, a program that takes early stage companies and grooms them to succeed. We are now opening a new Accelerator class. Uh, we, in the last two years we graduated 205 graduate startups from our Accelerator network. We have six locations so far. 85% uh, of our alumni get uh, a follow-on funding at a $1.2 million average funding. The Israeli high-tech sector is overflowing with good ideas. But translating these good ideas into solid companies isn't always easy, especially as many of these entrepreneurs are in their 20s. It's um, the people, the maturity of the people, uh, their ability to build management systems around uh, uh, their good ideas, um, getting the right mentors to help them early on in their uh, business development and to help them build the right business plan uh, going forward. Um, I think one of the real good ecosystems that has formed in Israel is around, you know, first incubators, but companies like IBM, we're opening an accelerator now, and that will help uh, companies who get through that very first stage of financing uh, but now really need to accelerate their businesses and, and, uh, and have global outlets for their businesses. Yet Kaplan says he's amazed at the number of startups coming out of this tiny country. For the Media Line, I'm Linda Gradstein in Beersheba.